goes to Walmart, gets his items, has a receipt. This still happens to him. Here it is. I got it. Just, hey, just stop. Stop fighting it, okay? Look at me. Here's a receipt, bro. Read it, dumb. Get on here. Read my receipt. Read it. It's went to have to read my receipt. Is this supposed to hurt me? No, you're Dane, 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 Are you reading my receipt? Dane. Dane. Get the off of me. Dane, please. Please. Can you have him read the receipt? He's not doing nothing wrong, officer. Dane, stop. Dane, put your hands behind your back. Okay, calm down, I will. Dane, do it. Just do it, Dane. Okay, okay. He didn't do it. Why was he accused? Why was he? Why was he accused? He had no reason to be accused. So he has to prove his innocence before they prove he's guilty. What are you doing? So, so the, bur the burden of innocence. Oh my God! Read the receipt, bro. No, I'm not. I didn't break no law. So the law is burning, burning on innocence and not burning of guilt. I, I'm not getting next to these. They, they'll throw me down like that. Hey, there's his receipt that he got accused of stealing. Look, she handed him this receipt. Everybody. Everybody. It was like a chorus. They were singing the same tune. He has the receipt. There's the receipt. But officer, he has a receipt. The officer couldn't hear any of that because he was um, committed to the job of arresting someone who did not deserve it. Police in Kansas City, Kansas are now investigating. This encounter recorded on video that shows a man being held down by multiple officers in a Walmart superstore on Thursday. Christopher Inlow, an uncle of the man in the video posted on TikTok, said his nephew had gone into the store to get food for his family. He said his nephew was accused of stealing pizza and was tackled by officers. The Kansas City, Kansas Police Department said the incident is being reviewed to determine whether the three officers involved complied with policy. Before I give you more background, I cannot dismiss the policy of Walmart. Walmart has a zero tolerance policy for theft. They prosecute virtually every uh, permeation of it. Even some misunderstandings end up going the criminal route until exoneration occurs. So believe this, if you believe nothing else, those officers felt very comfortable inside of Walmart because of the policy of Walmart, all right? There's more. Police said, uh, police said review of the incident began before the video, which was recorded by Enlo and verified by NBC News, was shared online. In Lowe said he called his 24 year old nephew to bring him some gas after his vehicle broke down in front of the Walmart. After his nephew left, In Lowe said he realized the vehicle still would not start and asked his nephew to return with jumper cables. His nephew went inside to get food while In Lowe waited for his vehicle to start, he said. Less than 10 minutes later, a woman went to Enlo's car and told him his nephew was being tackled by officers, according to Enlo. Enlo said his nephew told him a police officer had asked if he had a receipt for his purchase. And after he said he did, he continued to walk away. In the video, people standing around can be heard telling officers that the man had a receipt 
and that he, he had been next to them in line paying. The officer then ran up, grabbed his nephew by the neck, threw him into a vending machine. The nephew said, according to in law. The video shows the interaction after the nephew is already on the ground and is being held down by an officer. So what's the scene here? Um, so the officer, um, I, I guess he is enforcing receipt in hand, whatever statute that may be. Hey, do you have a receipt for that? Yeah, I do, keep walking. Let me tell you why that's important. Number one, that is an exercising of rights. You see, the officer is a governmental official. In order to get anything off of me, in order to get anything that is my property, you need one or two things, a warrant or justification of a crime, and you can search me. But you had neither. So already this is constitutionally prohibited because you are a cop, sir. You have certain restrictions into your interaction with people. There's more. In a statement, the police department said the officers will be held accountable based on the outcome of the investigation. The KCKPD expects all officers to follow all policies, procedures, and the law when interacting with the public, police said. Walmart said it will not comment until police had released their report into the incident. And I guarantee you, if there's any way for them to spin this, um, you can't spin it and say the guy stole anything. You just, he had a receipt, that's a done deal. But if they can spin it to say, but when he did this, it seems suspicious. And under that suspicion, the officer investigated and decided to engage, right? Um, this is one of those public private partnerships that has no memo. There's no MOU, they're just understood, they work together, right? A guy who already is having a bad day, I mean his car broke down, the man buys a pizza, everybody in the damn Walmart except for the cops who are supposed to be detectives are aware he purchased the pizza. They hear nothing, there's no reasonableness at all from these officers, where's the humanity? Officers, I hope somebody gets you this video and I wanna ask you a question. Uh, what if this was your brother, maybe father, uncle, good friend? Would you say the cops that did this to him are good cops were acting in good faith? No, you would say, those cops are jerks. Why would they do my brother like that? And so I'm saying, these cops are jerks. Why would they do my brother like that? You see, we're all connected, every single one of us. And once we understand that we are all connected in this experience called life, maybe we start acting as if we give a damn about the humanity of the next. Mr. Mayor, thoughts? Uh, you, sir, just laid out the problem with policing in America. Again, America's history, if you know the history of police, the history of police in this country were not to protect individuals, especially not poor people, working people. It was about businesses That's having right. someone to protect their stuff. Walmart using the public dollars and police in our uniforms to accost people in this manner over a 79 cent or a dollar and 59 cent pizza. The man had the pizza box laying beside him right. on the floor. He had a receipt, neither one of the officers that came after he was already on the floor even looked at the receipt. They didn't care about it, when they dragged him away, somebody had to give the officer, the third officer the receipt. And the police department talking about after their investigation is over, are you telling me you have a policy after we've seen so many black men be killed by knees on the neck, you still have a policy where that's legal? Because that was happening in that video. We saw a knee on the neck in a video 300 miles from Ferguson where this country caught on fire for the killing of a black boy. Yeah. We saw this, we also saw officers trying to break this man's arm. He took his arm, bent it back, put his knee on the edge of the joint. That is a wrestling move. We cannot sit static and act as if this is normal. Walmart has a role in it absolutely because like you said, their policy is to go after everybody for anything. And even while they're even while they're robbing the taxpayers because 40% of their employees are qualifying for welfare. Let's talk about that. 
Let's talk about that. And then on top of that, you using police departments as if it's a public service when in actuality, you're being cheap because you're not paying a security form or firm to do the service. I hate the idea that we work in a country or live in a country where business can take advantage of public like this. And the idea that this these officers are not already charged is yeah, again yeah. what I will say, the problem with policing in this country. Yeah. Accountability, none of this is difficult. It simply takes will.